What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box of dread? I'm Sean. I'm Aubrey. And you're watching Booville TV. Because it's been there, just on the table, haunting, haunting me. And it, we get to finally open it. Box of Dread, from what I understand, has uh, shipped out later than it normally does. So our very first Box of Dread, we're actually getting late. Because I think the uh, John, uh, who puts it together, was out of town or something. So, without further ado, our first... Box of Dread here on Booville TV. And as you can see, it comes in a box. That's why it's called Box of Dread because it doesn't come in a sphere or a triangle or anything like that. It comes or in a, a box. dodecahedron of dread. It's a box of dread. So, at least it's taped pretty well. So, when we first open up the Box of Dread, you notice it is the regular size box, so we did not get the seventh box. And Box of Dread always has the little color code thing here. Uh, it is red, so it is not the seventh box, but who cares, because it's our Box of Dread, and Mordecai can move. First thing you see is paper, which I'm sure Belfry... Very Belfry's useful. Yes, I'm sure Belfry will enjoy that. I will enjoy that. The first thing... The first thing that I'm noticing is a Walking Dead mystery mini vinyl figure. So, let's... Open that up. See what it is. Try not to cut yourself in the process. No, no, no. There's no cutting. Yourself Apparently, the there's no cutting of the box either. Okay. So, we're not big Walking Dead fans, although I was a fan of the comic, not so much <laughs> the TV series. So, inside of this black package, we have a figurine of a individual holding a knife. Um, I am not... A fan of the show so I really don't know who this is um, I'm not normally a big fan of vinyl figures um, either but I should say actually here. pretty good start uh, I know it doesn't give names you want to dig in next and yeah. tell us what's in here. the first thing I noticed was this little bag little the town that dreaded sundown are you kidding me Oh my god. I knew that they had made a remake of this in 2014. It's not a bag. It's actually the Phantom Killer's mask. Oh! Um, but it's got the, oh. the remake of this. The original movie was from 1976, and it's actually loosely based on actual murders that happened in Texarkana, Texas that to this day are still unsolved. Huh. The Phantom Killer wore a mask similar to this. And th I'm assuming this is from the 2014 remake, which I have not seen. But now I have to introduce Aubrey to this. 
movie and the um, the remake, which I've never seen. And this is actually going to go on our wall of masks. This is actually pretty fucking cool. Um, it's burlap, and so it's really itchy. So don't try to wear this as a real mask. Um, but that's pretty. That's pretty damn cool. So. Off to a good start for our first box of drinks. Let's see, we have, looks like a poster. poster. Let's see. Art on the wall of the oh. crypt. Oh, that's, that's cool. Neat. It looks like a Norman Rockwell painting, but zombified. And it actually has the box of dread dynamite on it. Uh, this is going to get framed and put that on the wall of the crypt. Really it's really, really, really nice. Yeah. We have... Many thingies. A little plastic tombstone and a couple little plastic zombie zombies. Little zombie figures. So those are fun. Those will go on our little tchotchke wall. And there is, let's see. Is it a button? What is that? Gorgon Video Button. Wow. And Gorgon Video actually has a lot of really cool, yeah. uh, some of the classics and slashers and stuff like that. That's um, in addition to that, you also have a Gorgon video sticker, a, kind of a puffy sticker, which is really, really cool. And we can put magnets on the back. Of the, oh, I love these. I've seen these on other people's videos. That is a popcorn candy box. Aww. A well, zombie popcorn zombie, candy box. A little mini candy box. Which can also go on the wall of that tchotchkes. That's cute. I put stuff. Um, we have a free ticket to Scare L.A., which really sucks that we don't live in L.A. <laughs> August 8th and 9th at the Pasadena Convention Center, and it's a general admission free ticket, um, and which probably is about 20 bucks or 15, 20 bucks if it's like any conventions here. So I really wish that we lived in California and we're able to go to this. Right. So, like I said, we're off to a pretty... Oh, I like this. What is... It oh, that's is cool. It is an Uncle Sam zombie... Sticker. Sticker with what looks like a zombified eagle on its shoulder. Which I can also see putting a magnet on and turning that into a kitchen magnet. The next thing we have is the reanimator number four, which is signed... And it actually comes with the Certificate of Authenticity, that it is actually a real signature. Dynamite Entertainment has issued this certificate to authenticate this copy of Reanimator Number 4 as one of specifically limited series of 200 copies <coughs> signed in silver by Keith Davidson. So, <coughs> we actually have a really cool Reanimator comic um, to put with our there are a similar or multitude of other comics. Then finally, we have what looks like a signed photograph. I don't know who that is. Of somebody. <laughs> Anyone who is a fan of Booville TV, if you can tell us who this is, it's a really cool picture. Um, it's signed, and I'm sh we'll put it on the wall. Um, He's not a really zombie. sure who that is, but uh, so far I'm really liking our first box yeah. of dread uh, like I said I was really hoping when I saw the walking dead thing that this was not going to be a walking dead box because a lot of it would probably get regifted I'm not a big fan of the walking dead series on TV I some of it but it definitely has sort of a zombie theme this month with the exception of I love this this is just really 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 cool uh, the town that dreaded sundown this movie now now I've got to now yeah now we've got to, uh, I have to introduce her to the original, and then we both have to watch the remake. When Dennis misbehaves, we can just put this on him. So, our first box of Dread, are we going to keep the subscription? Yeah, I think, I definitely think we're going to keep it and see, you know, what other stuff comes into the various months. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. Um, I really wish we could go to the Scare LA. I'm going to have to look yeah, it up online. And we have yet a new button for my tailcoat of mystery, which incidentally I have to do a review for one of the purveyors of other wonderful buttons that adorn my jacket. 
Box of Dread. Is it worth the 20 bucks a month? I really think so. And I think it is. your overall rating for our first box of Dread? I like it. Um, I think it's definitely worth it. And I know for a fact that, you know, each month they kind of change themes. So I'm really, really excited to see, you know, as we keep up the subscription to see what else is going to come in through the rest of the year. But yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, 20 bucks. There's stuff in here that easily probably already pays for that. Mm -hmm. Um, and from this box, we did find a couple of really cool items that we like. Some items that are eh. Um, but it's fun to re-gift or it's fun to give, you know, gifts to people that show up to the crypt or whatever. Uh, if it's not our particular fandom. But 1 out of 10 skulls for the service and our first box of dread. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a 10. Yeah, now while there's certain things in there that don't cater to my particular fandoms, it is broad enough that you're going to like something in it. It's just about every box. Yeah, it's horror. Yeah. Um, and you can't go wrong with that. I'm also going to give this a 10 um, for the idea and the concept. I'm going to drop it down just a hair to like an 8 for the content of our first box. Although it is badass and I love, love, love the fact that we have the Phantom Killer's uh, mask. I almost wish that it didn't have the logo of the film on it, although I'm sure that was a promo that or they gave. Or you can just turn it around backwards. Yeah, but you'd have to cut eye holes out, because otherwise well, it looks uh, like a burlap yeah. sack hanging on the wall. So, from us here in the crypt, both of us, 10 out of 10 concept, 8 out of 10 for me for content of our first box, but we will continue uh, and keep up our subscription. Stay tuned on Booville TV. We should also be receiving our parcel of terror, which is a very Lovecraftian themed box, which we're really waiting on. Yes. And this is a really short review, but... Speaking of Parcel of Terror, I actually mm -hmm. went on their Facebook page and they did mention something about um, some of the Parcel of Terror boxes are going to be shipped out to yesterday. Mm. Yesterday. By the time this is uploaded, that would be technically yesterday, and then the rest of them are going to be shipped out today. So oh, we cool. actually should be getting that very soon. Looking forward to it. As always, we're just going to keep this one, like I said, brief. And But I'm absolutely thrilled. And after this video, some of this stuff is going to go on to the little tchotchke corner. But on behalf of us here in the crypt on Booville TV, spread the word about Booville TV to your family, to your friends, to your horror hounds, spooky kids everywhere. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook and, hell, communicate with us on Facebook. If there's anything that you'd like us to review that maybe we haven't, that there's a lot that we haven't because we just kind of got started with this, uh, drop us a line and say, hey, guys, you know, I'd yeah. really like to see a review of, uh, of, you know, Sorority Babes at the Slime Ball Bolorama or some off-the-wall, you know, film. Yeah. Or some modern film. Yeah. And if you have the 20 bucks extra to spare a month and you're a fan of things that yeah. are do go look into subscribing to... Box of Dread. Yes, Box of Dread. Uh, wonderful idea. And John can did 10 skulls for you for doing this. And we will share this with you. And share this with the rest of the spooky world. I'm Sean. I'm Aubrey. And you've just been watching the first unboxing of Box Boots of Dread, Dread on Booville TV. TV.